Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another 3v3 Rome 2 battle for you today and this one is a very very close one I've been told um, another really really close one I do enjoy showing off these uh, sieges to you and I hope you guys continue to enjoy them but today we do have three uh, attacking armies, we have uh, Thorax Swords, we have Rome and we have Nabatea all the way over there in the distance and defending today we have Sparta, we have Saba and we have Pergwon. So it's good to see a couple of desert factions on the battle today in the shape of Saba and Nabatea. And uh, obviously we've got classic Rome always attacking and Spa on the defense. He's defending the walls, which is kind of surprising. Spa and hot plates on the walls, you'd have thought they'd be better on the ground, but um, we'll see how they do here. And he looks like he's also going to be defending some breach points as Rome opens them up with uh, his uh, tortoises, I think. Yeah, these are what to yeah, tortoise. Um, but yeah, if you've been enjoying the content at the moment and want to see more Rome 2, uh, sieges then please remember to leave a like subscribe if you're new around here and a comment to show your support I do always appreciate it and I'm really in appreciate all the support you guys keep uh, giving to the channel so keep it up but as you can see here we've got some mercenary Korean archers firing on the wall at these uh, Thorax swords causing them to lose decisively as they're fighting off a tiny unit of heroes of Sparta here these elite boys are uh, well these elite heroes of Sparta will hold the line for a long long time I'm sure of it and Rome's already in Rome now needs to really push with his Evakai cohort and push on these archers because there is nothing defending these guys. Um, there's some Periochio Spears coming up, desperately trying to get there, and some Royal Spartans, but not going to be enough. So this is an area that has been left undefended by the defenders. And these sort out. You wonder whether Saba might need to send some stuff across to support his ally. And on the other side, it does look like we have Nabatea and Saba uh, now duking it out. The Battle of the Desert is underway, and it's going to be fighting around a corner. Um, so yeah, it looks like this unit is like these noble swords come off the wall and they're just getting like focused down by uh, archers. And they're already down half the strength, so that's really good for the uh, defenders. Got Rakim Palace Guard up here on the wall. They're fighting Mar uh, mercenary uh, mascot uh, marauders. I was just about to call them like Marib marauders, but that's not at all what they're called. But uh, I do imagine I'm surprised these spears are winning. Spears on the attack is usually never a good idea, but they seem to be doing okay. I don't know whether this is. Gonna actually be able to open up a breach. He's uh, knocking another hole in a wall here. I don't know whether this one will open up. Um, but if it does, then I mean, these Gamma Spears will be going straight into the line. And around here, it looks like there's gonna be another little flank going on by uh, Nabatea. Does look like he's about to send in some stuff. But there's also some uh, Royal Marrow Cavalry here. And we actually have our Cavalry Sally. I didn't even see this. How do I not see this? Pergamon has got some uh, Noble Cavalry and they're harassing these uh, Noble Swords. And they're going to try and go after these Romans, so they could get some really easy kills here on these Romans. They can do this properly. So Evercarty, two units of Evercarty, very nice units to take out. But back on the other side, it does look like Mastodon is having some success. He's already got inside the walls with the help of Rome. Uh, luckily those archers didn't get forced, uh, pressed down, but it looks like these Periochio Spears are going to have to do a lot of killing. I mean, these Evercarty are actually losing, and they've beaten the... Uh, Swords of Pierce. So they could probably get these heroes off Spar off the wall as well. And it looks like there's now going to be a bit of a choke point engagement going on in several areas. Almost boxing in Macedon, which is going to be really good for archers focusing down uh, these guys. And they're going to try and sneak around. I thought they might try and sneak around, and they should. Yeah, there you go. He's going to go form into column and get around. So well played there by Macedon. Uh, and Spar is going to have to send up some more troops, or someone's going to have to send up some troops to sort this out. Because that's a real issue there. Luckily, um, these Evercarty cohort losing. Or they were. And now the Spartans are losing. So, who knows what's happening there. It just seems to be a bit of back and forth. And a little bit of the flanking force coming around here. So, we've got Nabatea with some Rakim Palace Guard. And some Noble Swords attacking. And, uh, I mean, this is really good by the attackers. They're attacking lots of areas. They're spreading out the defenders thin. And they can overwhelm them bit by bit. And player Ericoi, Hot Plates and Heroes of Spa falling back. It's not really a, a point defending this dock area at all. And the cavalry over here, I mean, they need to be careful. There's a uh, Pergamon's general out here. If they can get that general, the attackers, then uh, that's a real win for them. This Pergamon uh, heavy cav now going to combat against the Calfrax. That's shock versus shock, so that could go either way. It's a jabby throw there. That's a really good jabby throw, killing about half a dozen of the more noble cavalry. Actually, probably more than that. Getting off of probably about 10 or so. And they're really going in. They're blobbing up here. And the general's going to go in against these Sokia Extraordinary. You imagine uh, that will end probably with the general winning for Pergamon. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. They're chasing down these Hellenic Cataphracts now. That's a. I don't know. He might have been holding holding his ground there. I think. 
I think his, uh, this Noble Cavalry wasn't going to win that fight. There's more Noble Cavalry over here fighting an Extraordinary. They need to be careful. And the Marab Cavs come up to support their allies, General. I mean... I don't know. I just don't know. It's very risky as this Cavalry play. They need to really get the Cavalry round. Avoid, like... I mean, there's still more Cavalry coming over. There's Hellenic Desert Cavalrax now coming over. It's, it's pretty insane. We'll come back to that in a moment. Looks like the Romans are inside as well on this side, along with a bit of Nabatea who's got himself in. They fought for the walls, died for the walls. And yeah, this was actually a viable flank, so that was well done. Really, uh, Pergamon needs to push hard now, because there's no one here. They could push hard on this flank and really uh, box in Rome again, which is what they should really do. The cavalry, I kind of want to keep an eye on whether the Pergamon's general's still alive. He is still alive, and he's getting chased down by uh, more cavalry. So it's not Sophia Extraordinary. But it does look like the attackers are going to win the cavalry fight. That's pretty risky. This general is still out here. And he's about to get pin, uh, pinned in by some cavalrax. This cannot end well. This will not end well. He's, yeah, he's trying to get back. He's trying to run the gauntlet through the uh, cavalry engagement here. And uh, the cavalry that is uh, the Hellent cavalrax. Uh, I mean, he's fresh, luckily. Oh, he's not going to get through. The cavalrax is going to get him. And that's, that's not good. That unit's losing decisively now. Pergamon is in a really rough state here. He might about be about to lose his general. No, he's still alive. How is this general still alive? That is impressive. Impressive and also goddamn mad that he's like got out of that. Yeah, it just says friends routing. Um, like oh, if you hover over another unit. He should really be able to get away from that. Oh, he's active now. I mean, these these guys should really be able to get away. They're active to winded. And I would have thought that these cataphracts would be a lot slower, but it looks like the general's uh, about to die in here. The first general is already finished. This is a really not a good start for the defenders. Probably about to lose Pergamon's general. I mean, luckily they have two other generals, so I mean, I don't think Pergamon like, will get a massive morale debuff, but I could be wrong. How is he not dead? Or surely he is. It says inside four. He's got to be dead. Yeah, I mean, he's he's dead now. In some way or another. He's routed. But it does look like Rome's now inside the walls. He's just uh, getting himself jabby to death by uh, a Gemma Spears. This is not good. It's not good use of Herbicati here. Um, and now on the other side, I mean... Seems to be a bit of a stalemate going on. I mean, they've actually broken in. And they surrounded over here. Sparta's really overstretched. Um, Saba or Pokemon want to send some sort of reinforcements over. But Sparta is also a very good, like, a strong defender. So he might be able to take this on. Greek Scorpion here. I presume he's run out of ammo. Is um, already on the offensive. Looks like Sparta's in full retreat on this flank. He's happy to hold in the center. I mean, I would. It's a good area to hold. Brave Spartans here holding the line. And over here, I mean, there's an actual engagement going on. We've got uh, some Spartan hot plates against some uh, Thorax swords, by the looks of it. You imagine the Spartan hot plate should win that. But yeah, so it looks like the fight there is uh, basically going to be uh, taking place. And that is going to be pretty... Well, I think that, I think the Spartans will win that. But it looks like... I mean, so uh, it does look like uh, Spartans just got inside and he's uh, probably going to be just... Uh, just fine, just fine. Rome on the other on this side though is still pushing hard. He's got Pergamon coming through. Taking on uh, some Gemma Spears. I don't think uh, these Evercati have got enough troops really to uh, break through.
Now we've got some Mario Royal Guard coming in here to hold the line. Uh, I think this side's pretty solid. They've got enough here. They're two v. They're like two v oneing. Uh, like there's two armies here against one and a half armies. I should say that's that's the best way to put it. Because I mean, well, Rome and Navarre seem to be like all over the place a bit. Rome's kind of lost all his troops over here. So then it's going to be Sparta and a bit of Navarre against. Uh, no, well, Sparta against a bit of Navarre and a bit of Mastodon. How is Sparta still on the walls? I've just realised. I thought they cleared him off the walls. Clearly not. These Spartan hoplites here still holding the line. If they've got archers, I'd still carry on firing at these guys. Like, they are, I mean, oh, but they are wrecking, actually. These Cretan archers here are wrecking the uh, counterparts of Sparta. And Sparta's not happy with this. He's falling back. He's had enough. And they, I mean, defenders seem to be being pushed back on all sides. They're, uh, it's a big seat to defend, and they're uh, a bit overstretched. Over here, it looks like they're a keen palace guard. And the Noble Swords still holding the line. Noble Swords losing the Rakeem Palace Guard still seem to be doing really well. Surprisingly against uh, just about everything that comes uh, up against them. Well, glorious battle. Glorious battle. And this was sent in by members of the Discord, so if you'd like to join uh, the Discord to send in your own replays or to participate in battles just like this, then do join the link down below in the description. Uh, we always are wel welcome to new members, uh, and it's always great to have new members. Uh, join the Legion and be part of uh, some great scenarios and just custom battles. Um, but it looks like we can have some Heroes in Sparta. We're into the Elite Heroes of Sparta defending against... Thorax swords by the looks of it. They're not quite charging in yet. Just waiting for some reinforcements, some allies to join them. But I mean, that means a lot of Thorax swords yet to come in and actually fight. I mean, not many fresh though. They are uh, looking a bit beaten up, but not too beaten up. <laughs> oh dear, I do apologize. Oh, I didn't even realize these giant ballista here got like destroyed by, like, I presume, by wall artillery from the. Uh, Defenders, but I mean that's kind of huge for them. I mean they were only fixed, so they won't be able to defend for much or like fight much more as the defenders fall back ever deeper into the sea. And the uh, Evercar here losing. Spartan's actually pretty beaten up. He's got some stuff over here, but he might need to drag this unit of uh, Royal Spartans to his uh, own side. He's going to need it. Sparta, uh, not Sparta. Pergamon and Saba seem to be doing an okay job over here, but it is a uh, kind of well, it is more than a bit close. Uh, but I mean. I don't know. I think they're, they're trading at the moment over here. They seem to be losing one unit and then uh, killing off another one of like the attackers and then vice versa. Fighting around the columns. The uh, the sort of the emblems of uh, ancient civilization. I mean, they are, they are the ancient civilizations though. They're, like the Greeks and the Romans and everyone like that. So I don't know who... I guess there are people before the Romans that would be technically eight. Ancient as well, like the Babylonians, and I, I guess Alexander's not ancient, but he is a another. It's a different empire, isn't it? At that point, oh, one hundred percent is, one hundred percent is a different uh, empire. But these pikes here are getting a bit too close to the front line. I mean, they didn't really set up in time. They just about set up. Uh, luckily, these uh, the noble swords, I guess, didn't take really too much advantage. They're losing to the side spin. Spar's going to flank around just to make sure. But we've got cavalry inside now. They capture this gate. And the cavalry for Navateria is about to get inside. And I think that's where the Spartans are going to go. They're going to rush for this gate. To try to save this. Uh, because otherwise this cavalry can get around the pikes. And that can doom the pikes. Have they got any support over here? No. I mean, Saba might want to send up these swords just to support. But there you go. The Spartans have just about got inside and stopped these cavalry in their track. They want to stay there. Carry on fighting them. Chop them down. But yeah, you can see here they're trying to get around to these uh, cavalry and they're going to do just that. So this ca this uh, pike unit is probably doomed unless they can get up these uh, noble swords si soon. Heroico hoplites. Uh, they've got a lot left of uh, Sparta, uh, not Sparta, a uh, Mastodon. I've already said. I feel like Sparta's the most beaten up out of any of the factions. Nabatea might have very little left. I'm not quite sure. He's just got so much spread out everywhere. It just seems like he has a lot more than he does. Look at that. That dust just picking up. Glorious. And out of the mist or the dust comes these cataphracts. And I don't know where they're exactly going to go. 
There's not many places they can go. They can go up and charge these Perilkoi hot plates. Or they were better probably going for these pikes. They've kind of given those pikes a bit of a saving grace almost. I don't know really and he's falling back here with his Perilkoi. There's no need to. They were okay in that choke point. Or maybe a little little bit uh threatened on the flanks. But they now need to defend this area here. Because, um, well, they can just sneak around here and then just flank Sparta's position otherwise. Rome is, a uh, Well, Rome's not actually committed to anything in a while. I mean, they've actually broken through here. Rome just needs to surround here. He needs to surround these Gamma Spears. He's just happily throwing Javis into the back of them. But, I mean, this a Gamma Spear unit might take out these Rakeem Palace Guard otherwise. Oh, with that volley, though, that might make a difference. Let's get another volley. Another volley, Romans! Or just a couple of loose javies. There we go. And then over here on this side, it looks like the Gemma Spears are going to beat these King Palace Guard and they're going to surround them to make just doubly sure that they've killed them off. And that's, uh, that's an Agema Spear sandwich for you. No, a keen palace guard sandwich. Again, the spears are the are just the bread. And there you go. I mean, geez, they committed a lot of Gemma spears to take out that one rookie palace guard. They now need to go up on the walls, take out these Evercarty. And then this kind of area's been cleared out by the uh, defenders. They're doing a good job there. And need to be next area of uh, an issue is this area. These Romans now have uh, committed. They could just counter the flank though, could the Gemma spears. But then the Romans could just do the same. It's kind of how much do you want to trade? I'm surprised the Romans also haven't really just gone around here because they can. They really can. They can just push in here, go up this way, make this a available way in. I've got an onager here. I don't know how much ammo it's got, but I presume some because the crew still manned it, ready. We've got some camel cataphracts ready here as well. Marib sort of like just taking up the uh, sort of the flanking issues now. He's just one uh, keeping an eye on them. And here is a spot here just getting javied to pieces, I have a feeling. That's the good thing with these Thorax Swords, they can just javy away. I mean, they've got, also got archers as well. I have Mastodon. I mean, Mastodon's looking a little thin as well, but oh, he's got a lot of archers here, actually. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is probably what's doing all the damage to these hot plights. It's these guys here. He needs to get these guys closer to the wall. Get them, like, right up against here. Make it almost an impossible angle for the, uh, for the Mastodonians to shoot them. But he's making it a bit easy there as uh, Spire. Marib might want to just make a push against uh, Mastodon, and then he could help relieve Sparta here. I think he's, they're doing a good enough job holding back Rome on this side. Rome and uh, Navate are being a little bit slow. I mean, that doesn't help with setting in the Gemma Spears like that. That's not a good idea. And then over here on this wall, we've got Marib fighting it out. I mean, there's just so much fighting everywhere. I'm not going to get it all. But there is so much fighting going on. The banner carrier over there for the Romans. He's just like, oh god, I'm so near the wall. One wrong step and I'm in. The, I'm off the side. And there he goes. Gets chopped down by an Eastern uh, Swordsman. Or a Noble Swordsman. And it looks like uh, Spars is getting a bit relieved here. He's, well, relieved in the way of he's not having to fight anyone for a little while. He like, was the first one in and now Mastodon doesn't really want to engage. He's just quite happy to shoot him to death. Not a bad idea when it's Sparta you're fighting against. Archers over here getting ready. I mean, they're really massing up a sort of an offensive here. This could definitely be a viable option just to make an offensive across here. There's only a couple of units of uh, Thorax Swords, and you could send out the Spartans as well to help. And it will take a little while for them to get anything sizable over here. They've got some Royal Peltas back here as well. We could make a rush for these uh, archers if they had any spare cab, but it's all gone out and died, sadly. And now it looks like uh, the Agamemnon Spears over here are now holding the line. They're going to probably, well, they should probably uh, win this fight. There's two units of them in this area. And this is a beaten up Evercarty unit. It's seen action. But then this is the Romans. They may pull out the bag. And it's swords against Spears anyway, so... A 
they actually are winning slightly. The Romans were winning slightly there for a moment. And they, both these units are losing. Jeez. Romans are just so good in this game. I, I feel like it's often you don't see it, but they should be banned a bit more, I think, in like custom battles. And let me know, do you ban uh, Rome when you're playing custom battles? Or, do you, or are you the, that person that plays Rome, to be honest, and then just take, take the day with Roman arms, Roman superiority in arms? But these married Brawl Guard are getting forced back now. And there's infantry coming in. There's artillery firing over. That's a bit of a risk. It could have hit their own troops there. Yeah, Marib is, uh, or not Marib, but Saber is now in the front lines. He's given up, uh, Pergamon's handed over this area to him. I mean, Pergamon, how much has he got left? He's not got lots of infantry, but he's, uh, it's dotted around, put it like that. He's got a lot of archers massed over here. Maybe they're thinking with their archers to take out the, uh, Macedonian archers to save Sparta, because that is really the only issue that Sparta's got right now. He might be able to beat most of this infantry otherwise. Could do a flank round here. They could certainly flank these uh, Thorax swords. It would obviously be risked by the cavalry here. But it's not a bad idea. This Certainly this is pike maneuver over here. Is a, should not be here. It needs to fall back somewhere else. There's no attackers over there. But here come the archers. They're going to do some volleys. Look like they are. We're going to have a volley or two from uh, the archers of Pergamon. Or maybe not. Maybe they're going to get closer. They want to see the whites of their eyes before they open fire. Here we go. Loose. And they're going to get a response from the Cretans. And if there's, this ca continues, the Cretans will probably win. Because these guys are so poorly armored in comparison to the Cretan archers. Another volley. And they've got a general coming up. Luring. Are they going to try and lure in the general with this uh, nice juicy cav uh, archer? Like, Possibly. They quite possibly will. Royal Spartans here. Thorax there. Pike's now up for Mastodon. He's got foot companions. Very elite Pike unit. And uh, Sparta's not giving him a chance in that choke point. He's going to give up the choke point rather than fight the Pikes there. Not a bad idea because you could just have two units here. And just lure, them in, lure the Pikes in and then pinch them almost. But yeah, this area over here is a real risk. I don't know if this is the main capture point or no, it's not. Where is the main capture point? It's probably back here. That might be it. This might be the main capture point here. But it is, uh, it's getting a bit risky over there on Sparta's side. Over here, they're going to eventually be the Sevakati by the looks of it. Evakati winning uh, and no, losing on this side as well. So, I mean, Rome is slowly losing his infantry units. He's got one, two, three Evercarty left. I presume these are all left. No, we've got Praetorians next up. And they've got, um, we've got Onagers firing as well. So this is always good. Always good to have Onagers that are able to uh, shoot stuff down. I mean, hit these reserves. Are they go I presume they're going after the reserves. You wouldn't go after anything in combat if there's reserves available. Yeah, here you go. This is what I'm meaning. They're able to lure these pikes in. And the pikes realize... That they shouldn't be going in. Um, but they are going to go in. Oh, Mastodon, I think, is making a mistake there. He needs to be careful. This Thorax Sword unit loses. They can flank this Pike unit quite easily. And that Pike unit can then go. It's an elite unit, but it only takes one flank and they'll crumble. We've got archers in it now for Sparta as well already. Here you go. They're being pushed forward. All it needs is a little bit more. And these heroes of Sparta are ready to strike. Look at them, look at them, they're eager. Eager men. They're going to fall back, the spies. He doesn't really want to give him up that chance. Now Nabatir is bringing his cavalry over to come and support the Spartan gen uh, the Macedonian general. An interesting decision. Let's have to see what happens there. Marib Royal Guard now fighting Thorax Swords. I don't think they'll win that fight with the Maribs. And that's why his Noble Swords are being sent in. Looks like some Royal Peltas. They, that Spartans just beat the Royal, uh, beat the Thorax and now can have a fight there. They could flank around here. This Noble Sword could flank around here and that would certainly help. Because I, I think Mastodon could be an issue here. Oh yes, he could be an issue, especially with um, Foot Companions dropping like that. 80 and dropping. That's really, really good for uh, 
the ally. Well, I'm calling them the allies, but the defenders. Mastodon's looking in a bit of an issue here. He's running out of uh, available, or uh, well, free available like melee troops. He's got some royal peltas here. But it does look like the Thorax Swords are actually going to lose this fight. Wow, I am surprised. These Mario Royal Guard are actually quite good. I need to try them out. I need to try Saber out, to be honest, just generally. Go for like maybe like a Sally tactic because they've got some really good cavalry. Or maybe just go for a defensive with like a lot of Mario uh, Royal Guard. But Spa and Pikeman in here, they just kind of charged in their Thorax and they died doing so. How they got this unit behind, I have no idea. It must have been a pull through. But it's now getting dealt with by some Perioikoi. I mean, that's when you need to send, like, a unit, like, they've got units here that they could have flanked around, and they could have dealt with them, possibly. But they've done a good job. They've done a good job. They could just flank, I think the only thing they need to do is flank around here and take out this, uh, Royal Peltast. Just give it a challenge, because, just to help out this Royal Spartan. Unless they're just going to give up this entire grass area, which is quite possible. You can see Saber is falling back. And his Mario Brawl Garden engaging now, the Peltasts. It's always good to see players playing like weaker factions like Saba and doing a good job. Just makes them more, I feel like just their popularity just goes up a bit. People are like, oh yes, I'll try that out. I'd like to try Saba out. Because so I think Saba are a really good faction. Certainly better in like land battles, but I think they're not shabby at all in uh, pitch battles at all. Uh, in um, siege battles, sorry. Land battles and pitch battles, the same thing, Pope. You fool. Look at this, still a fight going on between the uh, columns. Archer here. Oh, he's just got his head chopped off. Yeah, and there's a... Uh, I mean, good to see Syrian archers being sent in if you're rooting for the defenders. Because that means the Romans are, Romans are losing uh, or running out of ammo. They've got some Bale Erics left, but whether they'll be able to use them to maximum ability, who knows. And there you go. Got some Rakeem Palace Guard coming in now. And they should... Uh, they might help turn the, this battle around in this area, but mainly because it's a fresh unit. Yeah, the Archie, well, it's also only 44 Noble Swords holding back them. These guys, we've got some uh, Mascat Marauders here, and some more Noble Swords coming up. The defenders are running low on stuff. I mean, but so the Romans, like I said, they've got Praetorians left. I mean, there's Rakeem Palace. Oh no, these are Thorax Pikes. Oh, that's huge that they've got some of them left. Look at this blob forming up here. This is not a good idea. What it requires is one surrounding by uh, the defenders, and that's kind of in trouble. If they have any archers as well, I'd definitely be wanting to take out Masson's general. Look at this. These Royal Peltas losing. I think because they tried to charge through the unit. I'm not sure. Oh, poor guy just got tipped over a shield. That's him dead. That apparently is a death animation. You just get tipped over a shield. Dead. Instantly. You just break your neck as soon as you fall off the shield. Bouncer Pal though, I'd still say he's in favour of the attackers. I think it's just probably because of their cavalry and they've got pikes left. They've got Artie. It's probably what's putting it in their favour. I think it's... Rome's like got very little left and Rome's obviously a really good attacking force. Navitaire, I'm never... It's always a bit iffy with me. I'm always like, well, it can do well, it can... Sometimes just do poorly. And then Macedon's pretty good in attacking. He's also good in defense. It's pretty versatile. But, I mean, you can see here from the Rakim Palace Guard, they're holding. These guys are like... Over time, I've become... I love these guys even more and more. I love Navatea. I think they're a really good faction. But I prefer them on the defense than I do on the attack. So... Just because they've got better spears, they got like their spears are like three hundred more, uh, like three hundred coins worth more than uh, their swords. So they just seem like they're they're suited more for the defense and the offense, especially when they got pikes as well. But pikes obviously can be an offensive weapon. You usually get more kills when you're defending. We're gonna really need to send something at more over here. Like I said, just flanking here. Certainly, just flank around here now with these two units. It's very small, but. 
This, I know it's a companion cab, he's a risk, but you've got the uh, Marab General here. You've got plenty of others that could come up and help. Looks like the Hellenic cab's gonna, or Hellenic Desert cab's gonna move on somewhere. Who knows where. They, they didn't really do anything, they came over here and then just kind of sat here. They didn't actually go in for an attack on anyone or do anything. But it does look like this blob of Macedonians might just about break through. But yeah, Sparta's defending a lot of unnecessary flanks, I believe. Rakeem Palace Guard here, still fighting the hard fight, as are the uh, Evakai. But there you go, the Rakeem Palace Guard on this side, with the help of the Praetorians, have got through Saba's defence. And now there's only just some Spartan uh, Slingers just waiting for them, really. I mean, it's a good angle for the Slingers. They can just fire directly down this street, which really suits Slingers. They prefer to have a direct line of sight than, like, the Archer's arced line of sight. But there you go. Look at this guy. I want a volley from you, sir. A volley. But we're going to have some Spartan Hot Pikes coming up by the looks. Oh, no, Spartan Pikes. Oh, that's going to be huge. They're a bit late, though. A bit late. I'm going to have a flank from some uh, noble swords. And those Rhodian Singers, I think, had to get sent in to save the pikes. A big sacrifice there. Hopefully those uh, Rhodian Singers had very little ammo left. But yeah, these Rakeem Palace Guard now are surrounded. And that's not a good sign. But the Praetorians could come in and save their Nabataean allies, but it doesn't seem like they're going to... Do they have a general that's a cavalry? No, they don't. But otherwise, you could flank round down here, because there's just archers down here, and you could uh, get a lot of kills. I mean, they should do it with infantry anyway. They should send in some infantry. But they're sending in more archers now, some Nabataean heavy archers. So, I mean, yeah, it's looking really, really close. Both sides. I mean, now balance power is evened up, I'd say. And the general for this Masson somehow got inside these lines. I'm not quite sure how he's done this. I guess he might have snuck around here. And all he has to do is, uh, like, charge these two units in the back and he can uh, free up his Macedonian army, or what's left of it. But he's going to carry on charging archers, which I think are probably out. They do look like they're out of ammo. And there you go, the Macedonians are through. Oh, they look like they're almost through. The noble swords just are left, and there's only 17 of them. They need to get this Marab guard back. It looks like they're having to fall back again, and the, Mas uh, the Spartans and the uh, Sa Sa Sabians? Sabians? I don't know what you call them. Sabians, possibly. These companion cab, though, getting chopped down as they run towards the uh, city center. And we've got a small fight over here, and Mastodon's still on this side. About to be surrounded by Sparta, though. Here is a Sparta coming in to save the day. And here they come. In they batter. Batter them like some fish and chips. Romans got through here though. They are really running out of stuff, are the uh, defenders. I mean, I feel like they've had to do some sort of play here with the spawn pikes. Just if anything comes forward, the pikes just start to move and just counter them. It's a bit of a... Uh, well, I don't know how to put it really, but I mean, they've got um, a stalemate, we'll put it like that. I mean, you've got Navate and Thorax Pikes coming up now. I mean, these uh, Sabian Archers are going to try and focus these guys down, kill as many of them as possible, but I don't know if they'll get any. They've got a couple. That poor guy there got one in the head. They're going to rush forward. Well, they need to. The Spartans need to move as well. They could, if the Spartans engage here. And they can shoot into the flank with the archers of these pikes. And that would definitely be more effective. And there's uh, artillery still here. This artillery needs to fire on some uh, pikes, really. Like, soon. And there's the other pike units over here. I don't know what exactly what's over here killing stuff, but these cataphracts need to get out of here because that's a general, and these pikes will mess up any generals that come through. It's 
There's bomb pikes here as well. So, no, that is a different unit. Well, this is a. Uh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Oh, Macedon's general might be about to get pincered here. But yeah, I mean, he should be able to get out of this. He's a cavalry unit, but he's very tired against tired and fresh, so he might get caught. It certainly looks like he is being caught. The Mario. Oh, I keep wanting to call them Mario. I mean, well, they are Mario, but um, not the faction. Um, Saba is just now chopping down. Well, we're trying to catch these Thorax swords out. If they keep running away, they're going to lose more men. They might as well just stand and fight. And Masson does look like he's down now. He might be the first faction out there. There he goes, his general. I don't know if he's dead. Pergamon's done really well. I've forgotten that Pergamon had lost his general like, in the first early stages of this battle. It's insane. And there you go. The Pikes are having a fight. I'm not really sure who's winning that fight. I'm going to say, oh, well, I'm not going to say because the game will tell me. 48 men for the Spartans, and they're losing decisively. And this archer unit here, the Sabian archers, uh, they flank round into the back of these uh, pikes. But they're going to get counterflanked by the Praetorians, who will route these guys no trouble. Look at the armor comparison. Poor archers. But now the Spartans need to rush everything over here. Spartans and what's left of Saba. They could probably leave these two units of Mastodon and probably get away with it. Yeah, I mean, the Romans and Navatea are kind of the only ones that are carrying this now. There's 20 minutes left of this battle. I'm not quite sure how there is 20 minutes left of this battle. These uh, these units are, well, there doesn't look as much left. And here comes the general. Oh, that's a good shot. Got a lot of these uh, cataphracts as they charge them. Charging the artillery here. And they're going to charge into the archers. And then they're going into further archers. And there's nothing here to stop them. That's a really good charge there by the uh, General of Saba. He could probably rack up a load of kills here. Fear the camels! If you do not fear the camels, you will die to the camels. They're winning decisively. How many men did they lose? They, oh my gosh, they lost like at least 10, 20 guys. Just in that volley there from the uh, artillery. And that Eastern Orange is out of ammo. That's a shame. Saba might have needed that. Is he going to charge again, I presume? Like, charge these archers, or is he going to go around and... Um, no, he's going to charge these guys again. We've got cavalry here, 33, uh, 32 men left. They might be able to stop this cataphract unit. However, camels do scare horses. They do do a morale damage to them. So, I would have thought that the camels should win this fight, possibly. But maybe with a mix of infantry... Oh, I don't even think it's that. It's just that Marib or Saba doesn't want to try this. He's happy just to get out of here and survive. Not a bad idea. You might want to get these archers. If they've not got ammo, you might want to get these archers into combat if they've not got ammo. But, I mean, it looks like they're still firing. They're still trying to desperately take out some Praetorians. He's going to charge. Oh, dear. I My voice died. Uh, my, uh, yeah. The uh, Cataphracts here are just about to charge into the uh, Praetorians, or have just done so. They're losing decisively now. Now we're going to bounce back into the uh, cavalry. Not a bad idea. He's just been ping-ponging. I mean, Saba does have very little left. He can basically risk his general. The only one that can't really risk his general is probably Sparta. Because, well, he's got a reasonable amount left. And, well, he's the final general for the defenders. Spartan Pikes here. Scaring off the Praetorian Guard. Not a bad trade there. I mean, they could definitely send around these uh, mercenary roads. Sling slingers going to surround these Nabataean heavy archers. That they should really not be beating these uh, pikemen of Pergamon. Yeah, they're really not either anyway. And the Praetorians still losing. They're just getting ping-ponged to those uh, Cafrax. They're just getting, they're going to get dizzy from doing that. And they are now losing. They're down to 14 men. They were at about 30-odd. But they keep pulling out of combat, so it's probably where they're losing. And there you go. You can see the general of uh, Sparta is now just duking out with what remains of Macedon. Macedon fought hard and he fought well. He just fought Mas he just fought Sparta and a fair amount of Saba as well. So it's just unfortunate for him. Though Saba wants to move this matter of guard up still. Gonna need every man at the front line. And the uh, is Rome really gonna seriously charge these uh pikes? That's brave. That's also a suicide charge there on these uh these Praetorians. Me. 
And here we go. This is going to be a big flank here by the uh, defenders we got. Well, I mean, they might send up their pikes. I don't know why they didn't send up the pikes to support the uh, Praetorians, but they're losing anyway. They might need to send the pikes to go and stop this pike flank here happening. A pike sandwich may be in the making. And then it looks like... Looks like Sparta is probably going to deal with these Roman, these Roman fools here, but they've still got some Praetorians here that are pretty fresh. I mean, they're not got much infantry of their own. They might need to send the, uh, the general in for the Rakim Palace Guard. He may need to go in. Now, I'd say an archer still got ammo. And the artillery is sort of bugged out. It's looking the wrong way now. But it still does have ammo. It still has a crew as well. If this uh, artillery can get a good hit, take out most of these archers, that'll be good. These Royal Spartans, I think, are going to scare them off and force them to, uh, well, fight either with their swords or run for the fields until they can come back to their artillery once again. But, I mean, I feel like I feel like the defenders have probably got this. I mean, it's in their favor now. But, I mean, they're actually losing on this flank, this little flank coming on from the Rodian Slingers. The Pikes need to be careful. They want to probably take out these uh, Praetorians as and when. But they might flank the, the Pikes here. They're going to counter flank. The flank. Here we go. The poor boys with their long pointy pikes are going to die. And now really Sparta needs to go forward and counter that flank. Oh dear. It could be interesting. Could be interesting. And there you go. Finally that uh, Maribor Guard's coming over. And Masson is finally out of the game. His final unit is just about to waver and go. There we go. Now the Royal Spartans can come over and help support this side. This is really, really close. Lots of Praetorians in here. I don't know if they're going to win this fight, though. Got the sheer amount. They need to send these Thorax Pikes in just to help out. The General of the Legacies is now in combat for Rome. He's finding some heroes of Sparta who are winning. So clearly, uh, I mean, the General Bodyguard, General Bodyguard is apparently uh, even. But I mean, surely that over time will change. I just love it when they like they're on fire, the, like the gen or like the units, and they just like they don't mind. They just don't mind getting shot by a fiery arrow. It doesn't hurt them at all. But yeah, these heroes Sparta should win that fight. Legatus is uh, still not lost anyone. Oh, maybe not. This looks interesting. Royal Spartans here losing. They might actually break through. These Maribor Guard might need to get to the side. Praetorians now engaging them. They took out that Pike unit. The Pikes here. Flanking round. It looks like uh, Navate might be AFK because he's just letting his pikes get flanked here. And he's uh, not really sending in his generals to go and help out, which is desperate, really, really desperately needed right now. Like these Rakeem Palace guard, if they go in there, that could that could be the difference. But let's look at this aerial view. Let's just watch as like, the Spartans fight it out with the Romans. On a bed of dead men. Look at all them. Dead men and horses down there. Or camels, I should say. Jeez. Does anyone recognize that head? No. Uh, yeah, it looks like my mate Gary. He's uh, got a very distinctive mustache. It, you can twirl it so much. It's long, bushy mustache. Yeah, there you go. These Nabate and Thorax uh, pikes are going to go. I mean, you definitely need to send the general for Sparta up to this front line here. They're in real trouble. And luckily, Marib uh, Guard is going to win this fight against the Praetorian Guard. Well, it does look like they're going to. They're going to use, use the whip. Right, now they can flank around with the Spartan Pikes. Finish these guys up and then send everything over there. Because the general now for Rome is uh, in, a, in amongst the archers. He is in amongst the archers. He'll cause a bit of panic here. But he's only a medium uh, sword, uh, like, cavalry unit. He's not great. But then these are very light archers. Who knows? Who knows? I've, like I said, it's very, very close. These Romans here are, loo uh, are winning, sorry, and they're surrounded by Spartans who are now wavering. That's insane. Insane. And here we go. The Spartans are sending up their uh, pikes to come and just kill off these Praetorians. Put the big long spears down, and here comes the stab stabs in the back. And there we go. That's going to break the Praetorians. They are gone. Right. Now these two units are freed up to go and help. And the general for Rome is... Uh, is he dead? He might be. 
But he's certainly not had a good time there. I think he got shot to pieces by an arch unit. He's, I don't think Roman General is dead. I think he's still alive. Oh no, General recently died. There you go. I think he's just died. Yeah, and the general... Oh, well, he's just getting chased off the map. He still might return though. You need to be careful. This is insanely close. How is there 11 minutes left of this battle? How is this possible? This can't get any closer. And now fire arrows going off. Trying to route stuff. I don't know if there's, that's the point. Or are they trying to just burn the artillery? That's not a bad idea. They're doing just that. I mean, these Roman onagers crews surely just got no ammo left. And they just could just march up here and take them out anyway, surely. Praetorians here, 56 of them left. The elites are the elites still holding. Does look like, uh, well, the Praetorians are going to hold a little longer. They're losing still, though. Still losing. Rome's general is a long way away now. And they're honestly going to chase archers after that. I don't know if that's a good idea. Just wait for him to come to you. You might need the archers over here to support. Navate is still AFK. As is uh, Navate and Thorax Pikes just get chopped in the back. I'm going to just fast forward now for the sake of the video. Um, because there's not much going on. It's just kind of... The Praetorians, they're about to get, like, minced anyway by these pikes. But you expect them to be. There they go, they're getting prodded away, 37 of them. Now they're uh, wavering. And it looks like it's just going to be Nabate left to take the day. If he can take it. I mean, he certainly could. Those Rakeem Palace Guard are still fresh, he's, but he's got to get through pikes. He's got to get through Royal Spartans. His pikes are about to get ch uh, chased off the battlefield himself. So who knows, and I mean the general for Rome is uh, winning this fight because the uh, archers went into combat, I don't know why he did that. We really should just get the archers a lot closer. Making that a lot harder than it needed to be, defenders. And that's going to be the reason why it's uh, it's going to be taking forever because they're going to have to chase on the Roman general, then they're going to have to come back over here. Yeah, so the Roman general looks like he's uh, well, he's nearly finished, he's just charging, charging down the last few archers here. What a bastard. Just running over. Poor archers. They literally, these men are like farmers. And there you go, the general's actually dead. He survived. Somehow these archers won that fight. So these guys should turn around, really. Turn around. The general's dead. And they're going to have to go and take out the Rakeem Palace guard. I don't know how they'll do it. Maybe they'll just shoot him to death. Maybe they'll just go up there and poke him to death. I don't know. We'll, we will see. We will see. They are absolutely knackered though, these Royal Spartans. Absolutely knackered. We'll just put it on full speed now. I honestly think they're going to just go up there and just take him out. I feel like, yeah, now we is AFK. It's a bit of a shame that this is how it's coming. It's a bit of an anticlimactic ending. But, I mean, it's been a really close battle, and, I mean, unless he's now just going to spring a trap and he's going to, like, take out loads of these units, then I think the defense have probably got this. It looks like they're going to put archers on the wall so they'll just shoot the Rakeem Palace Guard from above while they're attacking them from below. I think these Royal Spartans probably could beat them anyway. Shouldn't be able to go out the gate, or I don't think they... Oh, no, it's destroyed. They probably could. It's got oil, though. They need to be careful. They're going to cap it first by the looks of it. So they have the arch tower on their side. Not a bad idea, but this is risking your general getting shot. But I hope you have been enjoy. I hope you have enjoyed the battle, um, Legionnaires, because I thoroughly have. It's been a really, really good one. As always, great to see more Rome two really close battles. And there you go. The towers have been taken. They are now in the hands of the defenders, and they're going to force on. And there you go. So he's clearly uh, seen apparent to the danger now, and these Rakeem Palace guarded going into combat. Fighting it out with the uh, Royal Spartans. So, and now they're going to get flanked by Maribor Guard and the Pikes of Sparta as well. Maybe some archers will be sent out to help out. But I mean, they're, they're basically done here. How Pergamon's lasted this long, I don't know. He's had no general for ages. Ages. But yeah, these are... Uh, Pikes, I mean, they're going to be the difference, really. There you go. I mean, the, uh, oh, actually, they're the archers. They're losing to Sides Player. I thought it was the uh, Rookie Palace Guard. They're winning. 
They're actually winning this fight. Oh my gosh, tell me they're not going to go and win this now. Oh my gosh. I'm going to put it on normal speed. I'm not worried that they might take this. They're going to try and defend a choke point, aren't they? They're going to try... I do apologize. I can't get a decent angle on what's happening because of all the towers and siege equipment. But they are actually going to try and get inside again. And Pokemon, yeah, I mean... I did wonder how Pokemon's like morale had been this good, but it, it's really not. It, they just shattered quite quickly. I mean, these are archers, in fairness. But this Rakeem Palace guy is actually going to make a... It's going to make a chant, uh, like a dive for the uh, main capture point. They need to carry on to the spawns. They need to carry on. No, they're going to fight here. Royal spawns chasing on the Rakeem Palace guard. They can just chip them away, the uh, defenders. They'll be okay. These archers might need to slow them down. Uh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. I think they're being caught, though. Yeah, these palace guard are being caught. They've lost about two or three. They're losing. Yeah, here they go. They're dropping now. They might start a waiver because of this. They're just desperately trying to get through these archers and then get onto the next uh, line of defense. But yeah, here you go. When the Rakeem palace guard come... Everyone is in fear of the Rakeem Palace Guard. They are a nasty unit. But yeah, I can't remember. The person that described this uh, battle gave uh, gave the sort of right a really good line for the Rakeem Palace Guard. I can't remember. I'll probably have used it for the title, so I've had a look to so see what it was in the Discord. Um, but yeah, it was a it was funny. It was quite it gave me a chuckle. But yeah, I mean the Rakeem Palace Guard here are really just wrecking. They're just going through everything. And these Spartan Hoplites can't catch up with them, the Royal Spartans. They might just want to get the Pikes down and just chase them instead of using your Pikes. But I mean, they are now starting to waver. Just because they keep running away. They keep running away and that's damaging for morale. And there you go. They are broken. Army losses. And a costly victory for Sparta and his allies. So this was sent in by Turbo Fisto, who is a member of the uh, Discord, along with... Well, all three of the men... The defenders are members of the Discord. Uh, Turbo Fisto, Gas Leak, and Coops. So well done to them for winning this excellent battle. Um, the general for Spar getting 218 kills. So he did really well there. His archers getting 136. And his slingers actually doing better getting 189. So that's very well done. Here's the Spar getting 146. Which is not bad for them. They're only getting 31 which is not great. Um, his uh, roll spawns getting 169. Which is the best one there. And his uh, pikes getting 158 kills. So not bad for them. Gas Leak, who's playing a Sabah, got 100, uh, 218 kills with his general. Really well done. Most of them archers, but still really well done. Um, his Mario Brawl Guard getting 127 kills. His archers getting 119. His Marauders didn't do so great. Um, and his uh, Noble Swords got 93 kills, which is not too bad for them. Then Coops, who's playing as a uh, Pokemon. His general got massacred so early on, only getting 12 kills. His archers getting 107 kills. His uh, Gemma Spears... The best one, I think, got 140 kills, and his pikes getting 156. And they, um, so, well done to all of them, and also well done to the attackers if they are watching. Um, we've got to her mana, who was playing as Nabatea. His uh, cavalry did okay, getting 88 kills. His uh, general, who could have probably got a lot more kills at the end there, got him 55. His uh, archers getting 136. His uh, noble swords only getting 53. And his uh, Rakim Palace guard getting uh, 200 kills. Well done to them. Um, so, and his pikes getting 134. Then uh, Ball Tree 66, uh, 666, sorry. Um, his Rome, Rome, uh, playing as Rome, sorry. His uh, Roman general getting 119 kills. Um, his uh, archers getting 95. Expect them to do a little bit better, especially when they got outscored by his uh, auxiliary Belarix. Um, Evercarty, I think the best one getting 153. No, 260. Uh, seven, so they did really well. His Praetorians, the best one getting 281, so well done to them. And DK, who's playing as Mastodon, probably had the hardest fight, was the first out. His uh, foot companion's not getting that many kills, a bit of a shame there. Um, 125 kills with Royal Pelts, that's 153 with another. Um, his best Thorax Swords getting 147, I think, so they did really well. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed, guys, then please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment if you'd like to see more Rome 2. And until next time, Legionnaires, Bye for now.